Hello. Today I'm cooking with Marky. I will be showing you how to make a Persian appetizer called Kashka Bottom June. Kashka Bottom June is made with eggplant, garlic, onions, and kashk. Kashk is a type of um, whey dairy product, and you can find it in most Middle Eastern stores. And if you're able to find kashk in the sea, then I suggest purchasing that because that kashk is really tasty. <laughs> so, you would serve this, say, as a starter for. Um, if you were having guests over, then you could have this out along with some bread like lavash and lightly toasted and you know, you can have like nuts like walnuts or almonds and cheeses, just something um, for your guests to eat before they actually have the main course. So let's get into the ingredients. All right, so here I have five Chinese eggplants and I will show you how to prepare these in a slideshow presentation right after this. <laughs> I have one large onion chopped. You will need about one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one and a half tablespoons of turmeric. This is four cloves of garlic that I've just put through the garlic press. This is optional. This is one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. As I said, this is optional. This is just to add a little extra garlic flavor. Here I'm using three fourths of a cup of kashk. Here is, I believe, it's either five or six tablespoons of garlic that I've minced, three tablespoons of dried mint, and one cup of water. And you will also need oil to fry your eggplant in. Okay, so I have showed you the ingredients. Now let's get started. In this pan, I have added enough oil to cut the or to coat the bottom. So now I'm going to add in my eggplant. And my heat is on a little more than medium. And you're going to cook these for about three to four minutes per side or until they're golden brown so you want to make sure to check them to make sure that they're not burning. Using the same oil I've added my onions and half a teaspoon of salt and so now I'm going to saute these on medium high until they begin to brown which will take anywhere from eight to ten minutes. My onions are brown, so now I'm going to add in the garlic. I'm going to stir that around. For about 20 seconds. Now I'm going to add in the turmeric. I'm going to stir that and I'm going to fry this for about 30 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to push my onions to the side because I'm going to add back in the eggplant. and I'm going to put the onions on top. I'm also going to sprinkle the garlic powder. And I may actually put a little more garlic powder, I'm not quite sure. 
but I'll see if I want to put more when I taste it to, um, yeah, when I taste it to see if I need to adjust my seasoning. So now I'm going to add in the cash. So what I've done, I've mixed the water and the cash together, so now I'm just going to pour it on top. So now I'm going to add in the pepper. And just a little more salt. So now I'm going to cover this. I'm going to turn my heat down to about medium low. And if you feel like the cask is sticking to the pan, then you will turn your heat to low or put this on the smallest eye. And I'm going to cook this for about 45 minutes, 45 to 55 minutes. And occasionally you'll need to spoon the liquid over, and I'll show you how to do that. So to spoon over some of the liquid, you would just simply You want the eggplant to become nice and soft because you're going to, I guess you, you're going to smush it? Squish it. <laughs> you're going to press down on it to kind of break it up. So you want to make sure that everything is nice and seasoned. So I say about every five to ten minutes you need to stir this to make sure that it's not sticking. Well, I'm waiting for my Kashka Bottom June to finish. I'm going to make the garlic and mint mixture. So I'm using grapeseed oil. I'm going to turn my heat to medium to get my oil hot. And then I'm going to add in the garlic and turn my heat to medium low. And I'm going to cook the garlic until it's golden. Alright, so my garlic is in the oil. I'm now going to turn my heat to about medium low and I'm going to cook this until it's golden. And then I will add in the dried mint. And I'll only cook that for maybe 10 to 15 seconds. My garlic is golden, so now I'm going to add in the dried mint. I'm only going to cook this for about 10 to 15 seconds. Alright, so now I'm going to remove this from the heat and I'm going to put this in a little serving dish to serve alongside the Kashka Bottom June. So now I am going to press down on the Kashka Bottom June. First make sure it's not sticking. Alright, so I'm going to start to Squish it down. And I'm going to turn it over. And it's okay if it breaks up because ultimately it's going to be so soft that that's what's going to happen. <laughs> See, and there's some parts that are still hard, like up here, so you want to cook those until they're nice and soft. If you heard that, that was a neighbor kid <laughs> yelling.
So I'm going to go back to spooning my sauce. And I, um, I press down on the eggplant 15 minutes into cooking, so it has a little extra time to go. So I'm going to cover this back up and continue cooking. So my cashew bottom juin has been cooking for the additional time, and now you have options. You can either serve it in its present state with a where it's still slightly whole but it is pressed down or you can take a spatula and you can cut it into smaller pieces so you know just going like this with your spatula but because I know that Ramin prefers it like this I'm gonna keep it like this and I'm just gonna place it onto a platter and I'm gonna put the garlic and mint mixture on top and I'll show you what it looks like I would like to thank you for watching Cooking with Marky. I hope that you enjoyed my video on how to make Kashke Bottom June. I hope that you try this recipe for your next get-together or at least for your family. And until next time, Nusha June and Chadoa Fest.